Today we meet a teacher who made a transition from the classroom to the library and her career change is really paying off. Brad Means joins us now. It sure is, D. Whether you call it a library or a media center, one thing is for sure, that room is an exciting part of any school campus. A place where ideas and dreams blossom and grow. And that's why Katie Tate loves her job. She's the winner of the Golden Apple Award. Katie Tate is a veteran teacher. She was at Chucker Creek Elementary for 14 years, but then an opportunity came along at New Ellington Middle Steam Magnet School. I've always loved teaching reading. I've always loved reading. And so we had an opening um, at our school and I thought, well, that might be something I'd like to try to do. So I went back to school and, and then the rest is history. Now she helps kids make a connection with books. You might think that's a challenge with all the electronic distractions out there. First find out what their interests are and then try to connect them to the characters or to what they're interested in. So if it's a book about gaming, then they're more likely to read it if they want to be into gaming or a lot of kids like graphic novels. They start there and then just just try to introduce them to as many books as you can and make them appealing. Ms. Tate has done a great job changing with the times. The library is no longer just a place to check out a book. It's everything. It's technology and um, it's interacting with objects. It's building, it's thinking, it's using your curiosity to just um, advance your knowledge. So it's, it incorporates all, the, all of the disciplines of school now. Ms. Tate can tell when a child is developing a real love for reading. I think when they want to talk to you about it, when they're invested in the book and then they they want to just keep reading more and more, then you know that you've got them and that they're going to keep reading just because they want to tell you about what they're reading. Way to go, Katie Tate, a teacher turned librarian, always an educator who continues to reap the rewards of her hard work. When I see them later on in life, when they come up to me and talk to me and see that they're productive citizens and knowing that I helped uh, amongst other teachers, we helped to mold them into that and just to see them doing good around the world and in the community is the most rewarding part, I think. If you know a teacher who deserves the Golden Apple Award, please let us know. All you have to do is go to WJBF.com, find the Golden Apple link and fill out a nomination form.